All right, I'm going to start off by saying Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Kah La Yahawa, Bashim Yahawa Shai, Bashim Ka Kadash. Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Yahawa Shai is the name of our Lord, His Son, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Yasha Allah, we are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, in whom we learned this truth, all right? The elect men that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set up to uh, pretty much feed the flock of um, the Lord's pasture, okay? And uh, Shalom to the Akim who teach the truth and sincerity and believe on the Rakakodash, the Holy Spirit, and Shalom to the Akwatiyam, okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect. Now, here on the screen, I have a picture of bread, okay? And that's the topic of discussion that I want to uh, bring out in this lesson. And I'm not talking about physical bread. You know, bread can go into many things, you know, just food to eat, all right, to sustain the body, okay? But this bread that I'm about to bring up is the bread of life, okay? Going into this word, all right? So let's jump straight into it. So, in the book of Matthew, the fourth chapter and the fourth verse, and this is after Yahweh Shai fasted 40 days and 40 nights, all right, and was tempted of, uh, of the devil, okay? It says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, okay? So it was telling uh, Satan straight up, okay, that you're going to live off this, uh, this bread of life, which is this word, okay? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. That's what you're going to live off of, okay? Because everything else, remember uh, the scripture says, uh, Seek ye the kingdom, and all uh, other things will be added unto you. You know, all things that you want, basically, to roughly paraphrase it. So, seek this bread, all right? Try to eat this bread, which is this truth, okay? And, uh, you know, it's, of course, there's more scriptures that I want to bring out. We can go over to the book of John. Book of John, the sixth chapter and the 48th verse. Yahweh himself, he says that I am the bread of life. All right. Yahweh said that he's the bread of life. Okay. It says, verse 47, verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting, um, hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life talking about this word he is the word of god it says your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead okay talking about that manna when we was walking in the wilderness for 40 years okay it says um verse 50 this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die all right because you gotta remember we're about to be made immortal okay we're about to be made immortal and some men that walk the earth He's, the Lord said to himself, shall not taste death, okay? Some men are just been have been born in this lifetime, right? Only to never die again when the Lord comes back, okay? Gotta have faith in that. It says, verse 51, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. I, if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. And that world is going into the nation of Israel. Okay. I just wanted to uh, have full understanding of that. That the bread is Yahawashai. And Yahawashai is the word. Which is this truth. Okay. And also, I wanted to bring out real quick. That he is the living waters. Okay. Um. Yeah, verse 13, and you can read it from the from the first uh, top of the chapter to get the whole context. But I'm going to start at verse 13, John 4 and 13. It says, Yahweh shot answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst. Talking about carnal water, like regular water you could drink to sustain the body. But verse 14, it says, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Talking about this word. Because he's the bread of life and the living waters. All right. It says, uh, it says, but the water that I shall give him uh, shall be in him a well of water 
springing up into uh, into everlasting life. And that's talking about this truth. All right. We have wells of living waters. All right. Coming out of the uh, the prophets, the servants, the elders, the apostles. OK, because they believeth on Yahweh Shai. All right. They eateth of the bread of life. They drink it or they uh, yeah, they drink it, the living waters. And so they um, they um, being servants, they give living waters unto, you know, those who are called the elect. OK, so I just wanted to bring that out. Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh, the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai is the son, our Lord and Savior. They are the bread of life. OK, and the living waters. So seek him. Okay. The Lord willingness is edifying it to the elect. Shalom.